Just been waiting for you. What is happening? What did you do? Are you okay? We did it. Wait, wait, wait a minute! You are Frank Oputa. Okay. You had an accident. You're gonna get married very soon. Good. Yeah. Okay. Frank. Frank, look at me. Okay. Do you do you know Sophia? 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 Yes. I want you. Tell me what happened. I don't think we're getting involved. I don't think it's going to work. Look, listen. It's not like that. I don't want to experience any heartbreak or anything. Let's just be friends, okay? I feel uncomfortable. I, you know, I'm gonna be jealous when I see all those girls on campus crawling around here and stuff. We've always been friends. Let's keep it that way. It's not going to work anymore. Well, we passed that friendship. We superseded that. We transcended it. It's see, about you and me now. Yeah. See, your parents are my parents. I'm family friends. You know that. Yeah. And I see you as a brother. Look, I don't see you as my sister. If it's somebody I love, somebody I can spend my rest of my life with. It's not about our parents, it's about us. What yeah. makes us happy? Okay, what is happening to you? 
happiness. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, like, by your accent. No, no, what what do you see as happiness? Um. <sighs> look, look, happiness is when you're with that person that your world revolves around. When everything, you know, everything you believe in, your personal convictions, religion, creed, whatever belief you have, racial belonging, even blood type, it's it's absolutely unnecessary. It's inconsequential. It's just that person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Happiness is you. You're the only one that makes me happy. I can't live with anybody else. We didn't jump into this thing overnight. We gave it time. We grew up on it. It's crystallized right now. It's all about you and me. I Nothing else should matter. I'm confused. I don't know what to say now. Look, I know you could just say yes. And I'll make you the happiest woman in the whole world. Hmm? Oh, no. That means it's a yes. I love you, baby. Failed her jam exams again. What? Uh, uh, mommy, that's jam that me to reduce the number of people who want to go into <laughs> 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 I'm Sorry, Dad. Sorry, sorry. Don't what? That excuse is not acceptable to me. Other students have been passing the same exams. Your own sister passed her exams, and so did your brother. So why were they not restricted? My dear, you have to concentrate and be serious with your studies so that you'll be successful. That is the only simple truth. Daddy, my own case, please, I need to sit down and to go back to school. What? What do you need that kind of money for? No, mommy, I told you yesterday. I told you I need money for my projects. I, I need to pay my school fees and some other things. I mean, finally, yeah, now. Two months ago, you collected 40,000 naira. Look, Sophie, I think you should be prudent with spending. Well, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, I'll give you a check and you're going to cash it. Because I don't want money to be an impediment to your studies, okay? okay? Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much, Daddy. Honey, I don't agree with you in the way you're spoiling them. We should teach them how to be prudent with spending. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, my dear. Um, we will monitor them. I'm only trying to make them comfortable. That's all. 
I don't agree with you, honestly. And um, you, won't you gain admission and start schooling on time rather than jump out of the house all the time? It's all right, Mom. Tony, don't worry. I'll help you at this time around. Eh? <laughs> That's better. That's okay. <laughs> How did you know I was here? You went to your room and Obi told me I was going to find you here. Oh, big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to study something for my project. So I came out here. It's nice and quiet here. Yeah, I know. So where have you been? I haven't seen you since yesterday. Oh, sorry I didn't tell you. I went to see my parents. How are they? They're fine. Mm. Oh. Frank? Here's the 50,000 naira you need. I'm sorry, I can't accept this. Why? But it's getting too much, okay? You can't solve all my problems for me. Baby, don't talk that way. It's not like I'm solving your problem. It's just that I'm just helping out. But I told you I needed to handle this all alone, okay? Look, come on, okay? The part I don't really like is you're going to lie to your parents all the time. But if I had to lie to my parents because of this, it, I don't think it's wrong because I'm lying for a good reason. No, look, you right. have your projects and other things to settle in school. Not like this. I can't help it. I can't. You know you need this money, so take it. Take, see baby, stop it. You need this money, take it. Okay, please, take it if you, take it if you love me. Okay, I'll stop. No, that's a lie. <laughs> you have your ways, don't you? No, I don't. Yes, you do. You know I can't say no to you when you start it like that. I didn't know that. Yes, you I do. I didn't know. You do. Yeah, I My darling, my daughter, I want us to revisit this marriage issue. Oh, please, I, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sophie, what an elder will see sitting down, a young girl like you will never see it, even climbing the trees. 
So when I talk, you listen. My dear, now that you have graduated, I want you to prepare yourself. Tony and his relatives will come in next week to ask for your hand in marriage. But I'm worried. You, you've not shown any interest. Why? Mommy, I'm a graduate. So I will not be subject to this idea of choosing a husband for me. I told you I don't like that man. I don't want to marry him. What is wrong with you? Sophie, what is the matter with you? You've rejected three men that has come to ask for your hand in marriage with the excuse that you were still schooling. Now that you have finished, you are telling me that you don't want to marry Tony. A man that is responsible and rich enough to care for you. Mommy, 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 I just cannot rush into marriage like that. Just because a man wants me. I don't even like him in the first place. Mommy, I just graduated as an accountant. I need to get a job, earn a living. Before th thinking of settling down. Oh, okay, you want me to be a housewife in some man's house? I cannot do that, Mommy. I think she's right. If she says she doesn't want to marry the man, then you let her be. Will you shut up? What is going on here? That is mommy. It's mommy and this is a marriage thing. Trying to force someone to marry me. Oh, oh, come like on, me. darling. Don't be too hard on her. Is this her marriage thing and Tony now? And you know they are coming next week. And she's not showing any interest. This uh, girl wants to dear, disgrace us. Dear, let's not see it that way. I think we should not be too hard on her. She's grown up and she's educated. He's free to make her own choice. Really? Yes. Listen to yourself. All of you, just listen to yourselves. I'm disappointed. Daddy, please. Hey, you need to go and talk to me. Let's make her see me. Oh, it's all right. Because sir. I'm tired of all this harassment uh, every day. Don't just worry like... yourself. Don't worry yourself. Your mother will understand with time, okay? Are you going out? Yes, I'm going out. Okay. I'll get you. What do I get you? Okay, I know exactly what to get for you. Right. <laughs> oh. My friend, let's go. Please. 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 I'll buy one when I'm coming back. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, I wasn't expecting you. Isn't it? Isn't it rather late? Yes, yeah, late. I, I don't know. I don't even. Come on, tell me what's the problem. It's mom. A lot of men have been coming to the house to ask for my hand in marriage, and she's there pestering my life, getting furious at me, trying to force me to marry them. She's really getting on my nerves. Look, baby, don't tell me you're going to marry any of those men. Come on, Frank. How can you talk like that? You know they don't mean anything to me. They do not. Look, I'm afraid. Okay, I do read of how things are going. I don't know what to expect anymore. The pressure is increasing. Look at you. We've been long out of school. You already have a good job. You're doing so well. I don't have a steady job. You're literally keeping me afloat, supporting me. I have nothing to offer you. You don't have to offer me anything. You don't have to. All I want is you. You, okay? I'm afraid. You don't have to be. I'll always be there for you. Right? Please, baby. T tell, tell me you love me again. Tell me you love me. I love you. And I can die for you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, baby, that sounds so sweet. Thanks. So I can spend the night. Oh, this I forget. Um, I spoke to my dad about you, mm. and he said it's going to help you get a job. He doesn't want me to say. I don't know, anytime you want to see him. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you're right. Okay, fine, I'll tell him. I'll let him know. Okay? 
that's why I don't spend the night. Oh, no way. I don't want more sis with all that stuff, okay? I still have to go back to the house. It's okay, I'm just there. Come here. I know you had a long day. I'm tired. You need a massage. You mm -hmm. huh? always make me feel cool. <laughs> Okay, see what? It was what? really sad when I left the house. It's okay. Just sleep a little bit. I'll run your bath mm. and I'll make dinner for you, okay? Mm. <laughs> like that, little mama. Mm. Guys, in the meeting. I've told him you are here. He will soon join you. No problem, we'll wait for him. I don't think we can wait any longer. Let me go and see if I can hurry him up. Ah, yes, uh, Sophia has told me everything. So why didn't you come to me all this while to let me know that uh, you don't have a steady job? Well, Uncle, no, I had oh, Daddy, no please don't mind him. He's been busy chasing 30 contracts and writing for a romance magazine. <laughs> Frank, that's not very lucrative. I had to leave, so. It's all right. Um, let me see. Um, can I get you a job in an advertising company? Is that okay for you? It's all right. It's all right. Uh, in, in that case, I will say that um, by next week, the appointment letter will be ready. Wow. So, Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank right. you. I'm it's very right. happy. There's nothing I can do for my own daughter, okay? okay. All right. Yes. I, aha. I hope two of you are getting on very well. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm in the middle of a meeting now, so I just I should come and see you and go. Right. So, Daddy, sorry for disturbing you. It's okay. It's okay. So let me go back to the meeting. Thank you. Sir. See right. you. God bless you all. I told you. Where's the yes? Sister, guess what? What? Did you pass jam? Isn't that something better to talk about? Well, I got to my boyfriend. Sister, you need to see this guy. Oh my god, he's handsome. And I think he's rich. Really? See. Listen, girl. May I not be trusted with his sister? Okay? And I bet you they are going to disappoint you. Who cares? I'll go for the next available one. My goodness. Do you know what I just discovered? You are very reckless with your life. And you're too young for what you're getting yourself into. Listen, there's more to life than all these fantasies you're building around you. Don't you want to be in a real relationship? Like what I have here with Frank. We're so much in love with ourselves. We love each other so much. I we want to spend our lives together. Don't you want to feel it? Don't you want to marry the man of your dreams and live happily ever, ever after? Don't you want to feel love? Sister, wake up. Love doesn't exist here. Catch your phone and catch the groove. Mm, really? I should wake up. Oh, sorry, little girl. I am catching my groove with Frank. And I think it's time you get your head all cleared up. And the sooner you let... Oh, really? Give it to me. This hooligan. Oh. Don't tell me this is the boy you have settled for. And don't even tell me that it's because of this boy you've been rejecting better offers from better people. This irresponsible son of Mr. Putter. Has he gotten himself a job yet? Talk more of marriage. What future does he have? Mom, Frank has a future. 
He's hardworking and very responsible. And that's why dad got him a job. What? Oh, so your father is already aware and even in support. I'm disappointed in him. So this boy whose parents are living free of charge in one of your father's houses. Has he taken care of his parents well enough to take care of you? Mom, just stop it. Okay, just stop it. I don't like what you're saying. Frank is the only man I desire. I don't care if he's poor or rich. After all, you once told me that your parents are very poor. Just yeah. shut up. Shut up! My parents were nothing like this. You. Honestly, baby, I don't want it to seem like I, I complain all the time. But this job is taking everything out of me. It's taking my creativity, my person, everything. It's living so little in return. You know when I get home every day, and yet I have nothing to show for it. Every time I walk hard, everything goes back to the owner. I see, baby. I understand perfectly, okay? I've actually thought about it myself. Okay, what do you intend doing about it then? Okay, um, I intend to start my um, private investment company. You know, 80% of the people that I'm um, serviced by these companies came through me. They know what I'm capable of, they believe in me. To win them over to my side. But the thing is, Captain Intensive, I don't, I don't have that kind of money. Um, how much are you thinking about? How much are you looking at? At the least. The very least. Three million. Three million? Are you telling me? Baby, that's a lot of money. I'm worrying myself sick in here. Damn, three million. Maybe I could do something about it. Really? Yeah. How? It's a lot of money, baby. I know, okay, look at it it's this good. way. I have close to a million in my account. I could talk to my bank to lend you two million so that you can invest. So afterwards you return the money back to them with interest. That's all. You you can do it? So? I am going to do it. Do you know what you are? What? You're a miracle. Oh please. No, you know. <laughs> You're a miracle. No, don't say that. Now let me prove it. <laughs> wow. What? I mean what what did I do to deserve all this? You didn't do anything. I just want the best for you. I want you to succeed. Look, Mike, this thing can be worked out, okay? What I have is a personal situation. One minute, Mike, one minute. John, come on in. Now listen, my client is on my neck. The two containers have to leave that ship by next week. Look, I've never disappointed a client for one minute. Mike, one minute, I'll get back to you. Yeah, John. Is that the file? Yes, sir. Which agent? Mr. Michael Bezeri, sir. He's big. Don't worry, I'll handle it personally. Okay? I'll get back to you now. No, no, no you, Mike. No. Okay. I was talking to my second job. Now, where were we? Mike, what is happening? Look, this company abide by a code, okay? We have a standard to keep and we always deliver to our clients. What can you offer me? I need it by next week. I need it by next week. One minute. So, hey, hey, you understand how, what time it is with me? Okay, I know there's a small matter of a five million outstanding. I will struck my accountant and get your money first thing tomorrow morning. We'll pay into your account. Now, what can you offer me? That's not good enough, Mike. I'm afraid that's not good enough. I want those containers by next week and I want them. Look, left to me, I want the containers like yesterday, but hey, okay. Have a nice day, Mike. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Mike. Wow, 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 wow. And that's the most beautiful woman in the world. Do you know? I'm mm -hmm. doing okay. Sure. I just came by to find out how my Prince Charming is doing. Yes. Mm. Progress and really? nothing but progress. Wow, I can say it all over you. You don't have to say anything. Oh, baby, you look groovy. Groovy woman. Thank you. <laughs> 
No. Which is? Cool. Thank you. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to do something completely unethical here. Genius? Just watch. Mm. John? I'm leaving the office never to return today. Don't ask questions. If anybody wants to fall for tomorrow, all appointments <laughs> sealed. Tell them whatever you want to them. Don't ask questions, John. Don't, don't ask questions. Um, and I don't expect you to ask questions either. Mama, I'm so yeah. I'll follow this man mm -hmm. to bring about attention. Your wish is like a man. And let's see if you're woman enough to handle what I have for you. What do you have? It's a surprise. Surprise? Big surprise. Really? Where is the surprise? It's a very big surprise. I love surprises. Welcome to the Castle of Franco. Where is this place? Well, this is it. What? I said it's my new apartment. You know, our apartment. Baby! Hey, look like at it? this! This place is beautiful! Yeah. I can't believe it! No, I mean that like, you like the decor, right? This place I, is beautiful! You know, let me tell you, I really want to be where the aim is now. What? The oil industry. Mm -hmm. If I can bust into the oil industry, that's where the mega boxes. Believe me, baby, I'll be floating with the clouds. Oh, really? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna decide you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not dreaming. I I'm know. Not, so I pack the escalators <laughs> and robbers outside. You know, I'm not dreaming. And look at this. Well, this is the living room that's supposed to be the guest bathroom toilet. Oh, please let hey. me have a look. That okay? The kitchen, the toilet, and upstairs. Well, it's too big. I see all that. that. Upstairs, you have two big bedrooms, and one of them has got this big bed. Mm, that's what we mm -hmm. do on the last one. Oh man, wow, that's the So, before we come back and exploit just how big this bed is, baby, why don't you come outside with daddy? Yeah, you're I'm right. a surprise for you. I've got something to show you. What do you have? That is a surprise. The mother of surprises. Come what is it? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. Okay. Right here. Right here. Okay. But don't open. No peeking. Okay. Face okay? there. Don't well, the even sun. look at me. The sun. Okay. Look at me. Hmm? Don't peek at me. Pick a mean, that's it. That okay? Like no, no, just look there. No, just stay where, stay where you are, okay? Why you? Stay! I'm coming, I'm close. I'm close. I guess if I wear something. I carry something. Out. Okay, Still keep your eyes closed now. Okay. You hear me? All right. Come here. Uh huh. Come here. Don't worry, I got you. No, okay. Talk, 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 talk. Yeah. Look down. Open your eyes and look. Open your eyes. And we act like the wonders. Open your eyes. Like. Yeah. It's a car. It's a car for you. I bought it. No, but you don't. I bought you a car, okay? You did oh, not. Yeah. <laughs> you joking? Yes. Yeah. Look at you. You like it? But it moves what? like a dream. <laughs> yeah. They don't draw me in the like And I know green is your favorite color. So hey, it took some time, but this is what I know you like. You like it? I was afraid you may not like yeah, it. I just, I just want to give you something for all the years of support. Everything you've done for me, and um, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> you like it, huh? <laughs> I can't. All right. Stop. Stop crying. Stop crying. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here. Oh. I can't believe this. Stay with me. Stay with me. 
Today, I seal my love for you with this ring. And I promise I'll be faithful to you forever. You only say that to know what you do. Thank you, thank you. Actually, I um, I bought another five for five, and I will send it over to your mom next week. Then to take you along with the driver. Five, five, five. No, five for five. Hey, it's a five for five portion. I just I needed to talk to you about something. This civil service job you do. Why don't you just retire and then and then, then forget that job? It's not worth it. The money is not worth it. I know. I've told him that before. He does not want to listen. Yeah, that I think you should give a considerable thought. It did the the, the the pain and everything. I mean, the money is not kind of afford me a, a decent shoe. No? The fact is that. I don't like to be idle. That you will not be idle. I've already thought of that. I know you're a very mobile person. Mm. And um, you could go into private business. I'll sponsor it, no problem. Or could work something out. I'll pay your mom a specific amount every month that more than take care of you. It's you know. all right. It's all right. I will look into it. That, please. Well, um, so when are you settling down with Sophia? Well, very soon. We want to um, get a new home, we'll buy a new home instead of this rent thing we do all the time. But that will be as soon as I come back from England. You know, Sophia is God sent to you. She's a miracle. She's honest and humble, just like her father. She's a very good girl. No, Mama, no, she's a wonderful person. She's mm. been a miracle in my life. And um, I want to appreciate her, Mark. Okay? Uh, the, the, the marriage you hold sooner than you think that. <laughs> When are you finishing your course on advanced surgery? Um, soon, soon. But I'm planning to further my course abroad, you know. It should take like six to eight months. And that long, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I miss you. So where are you going this time? America. Hey, Uncle Sam. Yeah. <laughs> For me, where the real high ballers are, that's the oil industry. That's where the big diggers are. <laughs> and I can't wait to break in and break even. Frank, I'm telling you, they will hear my Frank, voice there. Frank. <laughs> you know, you've always had 
high aspiration. And I like that. Hey, that's how you stay on yeah, top. I like it. You don't have like to it. wait till 60 <laughs> to make all the money. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Um, I got this big friend, right, who is planning a, a big party. Okay. And I happen to be the chairman of the planning committee. Mm -hmm. All right, why don't you join us at Cisco Bar, okay? Um, my friends are kind of big players in the oil industry. They could link you to bigger people, you know. I'll pick you up on that. Mm. I'll miss it for the world. Here's to the doctor. Yeah, man. For your hookup. <laughs> and when this pole starts falling out, Luna will hook you up too. You better do that. Oh, you like buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a doctor, man. Yeah, I love like buddy. Okay, you know? I do. That's how I do. Okay, before we get started, right, I'd like to introduce my main man in the house. We were roommates in school. His name is Frank Oputa. He's the MD Frank Salt Nigeria Limited. Frank, my main man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And over there we got on Pedro Palano. He's the MD Black Oil Nigeria Limited. Frank. What's up, Frank? Hey, what's up? Alright. Right. Next we got Tony. Tony Hastrop. He's the marketing officer. Chevron Nigeria Limited. Tony. Yes. Tony. And here to my right we got all the mighty. Call out in the He's uh, <laughs> now what you do again? Yeah, he's into the natural gas sector. Okay? Yeah, and before I forget, his father is the the vice chairman Shell Petroleum. What? <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> yeah, but it's that true, man, you know. <laughs> well, for me I don't know. Uh, my man with humble beginnings, you know. So I feel almost um, privileged to be presence of such heavy weights. Yeah, talking about heavy weights. Well, Frank is planning on coming into your sector. I asked him to be a doctor and he says, Can't stand blood. <laughs> your work, your work. Uh, so guys, I guess no you need to come yeah. like that. Your stand up on business. This diligence kind. Yes. Gentlemen, one of my, my, my fun things. Yes. I need to get some from me, but see, right? Who is that? What mm -hmm. machine is so good? That's the first of time of the Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah. It passed. Um, Frank, Frank, don't tell me you're planning something. Frank, listen, just, just take my advice, okay? Don't even go there. Okay? When have I ever taken your advice, Doc? You know me, okay? And every time I don't take your advice, I hit my target. Trust me. At the end of the Dr. Mm -hmm. I listen, I see a case of not having the right key. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, now, it just so happens that, naturally, you need a key to open a door in order to have access into a particular room. Am I in a no, no, room? Right. No, right. Yes. No, so what I'm saying, of course I have the key. No. You, every door requires a key. And I don't have the key, gentlemen. I have a master key. I don't have a key. We'll see who the joker. Gentlemen, master key opens the door. That's what I have. Just, just listen up here, right? What we're trying to say is, if we were in your shoe, right, we wouldn't go there, there with a 10 foot for you. Yeah, you know no. me. <laughs> That's probably why you're OB, Dr. OB. Yeah. And I'm fun. I'm a hot dog. No, 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 I would not. Gentlemen, there's no woman that's ever received you. Yeah. And I'll prove it. Why don't you gentlemen echo here? Echo here, every one of you gentlemen. And give me a few minutes. Let me show you what's like having the right key. I don't need lock. I need a skill. I belong in the latter category. Good luck. Oh, I may not be needing this. Thank you. Hello. Hey. You know, I um, I was sitting over there with those gentlemen. And um, we came to a uh, unanimous understanding that you were a snob. So I, yes, I found down the table and came over here to get to be another snob. You see, I told about a woman that's beautiful, with so much fire and light in her eyes. So um, I hope you 
hope I've earned a seat uh, and seen all these nice things. <laughs> What's a woman this beautiful doing all the time? I'm trying to be alone. That is um, hardly a thing. But well, in any case, um, does a beautiful lady have a name I could use? Her name is Trisha. Trisha? Beautiful name. Can yeah, be a nice question. And so what's the name of the guy with charms? Well, I'm not too sure of the charms, but I'm sure of my name as well. Fine. Mm -hmm. Nice name. Thank you. So what do you do? Import exports on a small company. Okay. So, um, who is Trisha? Trisha is Chief Morgan Okoya's daughter. Chief Morgan Okoya. Now, if my uh, memory serves me correctly, that would be the Minister of Petroleum. Sources of mine. Very correct. And I work in one of his parish details. Well, I'm sure that is uh, interesting. Well, in any case, uh, I couldn't help notice you came here with a gentleman. He's wanting to be a brother or a husband or something. Is any of those? Yeah, well, I could. You may not find it refreshing that uh, I'm chatting with a very beautiful partner. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you have how is it? Oh. They are talking nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. Are you serious? Hi. Hi, um, my name is Frank. Okay. I'm J-I-M-M-Y. Mm -hmm. Are you some kind of rapper? Don't forget. Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> Frank to go home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, well, I see your... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know where he stands. Once you're out of here, he's my brother. I apologize, yeah. I see the same now. Thank you. So, um, let me make bold and ask this very beautiful woman if I could um, have the pleasure of keeping you company at the park of tonight. Mm, well, I I would have given you my car, but my bag's in the car. Mm -hmm. So, no bother, I'll take your number on my way out. Oh, fine. So, yeah. is that a yes? So, um, do I take that to be a yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't have achieved something. I just proved a bunch of my ignorance wrong. Well, I'm not going to sweet it. Oh, yes. Who's the man? Who is the man? Who is the man? Who is the man? I rest my keys. Gentlemen, as you can see, it's all about having the master key. Thank you. Hey, I'm back. My gentlemen, let's propose a toast to the man with the master key. No, I won't miss up the one that put my brother. Okay? You're the right man. Thank you. I told you guys, it's all about having the right. Well, um, for the right woman, I can wait for eternity. So. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm the most beautiful girl you've ever met. And at the same time, 
You think I've been told that too many times? <laughs> well, yes. I know. Yes, partially what I was thinking. I know. For me, be, um, beauty is beyond um, the looks. It's in the eyes and the head. It's the content of a woman's head. And the look in her eyes. You see, beauty comes in a thousand faces and I've long picked mine. I like a woman who is intelligent. And when she looks at me like I'm the only man that exists. Just like you're looking at me. Really? No man has ever told me that. Well, there are men and there are men. Well, I was wondering, what will it take a brother like me to hang with the most beautiful woman in the whole world? You mean what it will cost you? Let's see. A lot. Well, in that event, is it going to cost me as much as it? No? Oh, maybe more than that. In that case, I have to work a little harder. Yeah. As hard as. Oh, God, please. Excuse me. I'm just trying so... to work hard. I'm just trying to work hard. Yeah. So, what's up? Well, the deal is um, <coughs> give me your car keys. Come into the car. Let me take you somewhere private. You said you're not married. Look, we've been through this many times. I'm not married, okay? So why aren't we in your house? Why are we here? I've told you, my mom is this strong Catholic type, and I need to respect the woman. And my house is a two-bedroom flat. What am I supposed to do? We can't be in one room and she's in the other one, and we're together, you know? So, because I'm a minister's daughter, you think I can't stoop low? I'm not that sp spoiled to. So I'm not an adorable. I know, I know. Okay. okay. Okay, that's one thing I like about you. Right. So how is business? My yeah, business is good. We're aspiring to get to good heights. Mm. Okay, so everything's okay. Do you know what? Mm. Maybe one of these days I'll introduce you to my father. Mm. And if you impress him, mm. he might just give you one or two contracts. Mm. You're the best, you know that. Come here, let me fetch you to sleep. Yeah. I can't wait to meet your dad, though, not for the contract, but just to meet him to let me know that I'm in love with a very beautiful woman. You are? I am, baby. Are you sure? What are you telling me? I sing you like a song. I'm beginning to sound like a canary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 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 I'm like,
Have you been here for long? I was here all through the night. What happened? I called your phone and it was switched off. I'm really sorry, okay? You know, I am um, going for OB send up. Can I just put chairs for you? You know, the boys couldn't have a party and I decided to stay all through the night and what I did was going to switch off. The girl just told me. Mm. I was worried. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. It's just the boys thing, okay? No harm. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, I made breakfast for you. You did? Mm -hmm. It smells good. Mm. You want to join me? Mm. Yeah, I've already eaten. Wow. Okay, let me make you some tea. Okay. I don't like the attitude you've cultivated these days. So because your father traveled now, you're sleeping out. Mom, I went to Frank's house. We'll soon be getting married. Then wait till you are married, married, my dear. Sophia, be reasonable. What is wrong with you? If you continue like this, you'll make, him, you'll make yourself very cheap to him. At least let him be more desperate for you. I'm sorry, Mom. Are you going out? Yeah, I want to see Pastor Mrs. Take care. Hi, Vince. Did you go to school today? No, till tomorrow. Uh, is Gerald? He's not back. Um, so what? I saw. Um... You saw what? Oh, sweetheart, you promised. You promised you were going to take me out this weekend. That's what you said last weekend that you were going to take me to the beach. Something else came up and you couldn't. Now this week you're traveling. Really, I'm just so confused. I, 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 I don't understand this whole thing. I really do not. Listen, I know. Look, there's this very important contract that I have in Port Harcourt. And, and it's taking all my time. Oh, please. Spare me all that. You hardly give me attention these days. You're off to this place, that place. I'm here all alone. Definitely, I don't mean anything to you anymore. Don't say that. Don't ever say that to me. You're not like my wife now. You're like my life. You mean everything to me. Look, how can you even begin to question my loyalty? My love for you. Please don't go. I, I know things are, are, are kind of wrong right now, but it should all be right. I'll do it right. I'm doing this for us. I'm trying to create a family thing, something to fall on. We need this. We need, we need to create all this so that our family will have something. I'm doing this for you and the kids. Look, oh, please. Please, that's what you always say. No, I mean it. Next week, you're going to go off again. No, no, no. I'm making it up to you. Okay, well, you always I'm say that. Please. I'm telling you, I'll make it up to you. Candlely dinner, roses, trips to everywhere. Very soon I'm escalating, even a rumor outside. You sure? I'm not joking. Okay, 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 okay. Just a light to me. This is not you. All I'm asking for is your support, your love. Yeah, because I don't see you. I give you all that. I mean, you know you have it. No, all we have is the perseverance right now. We need the perseverance. Just a little while and we reap. Baby, don't be like this with me. I love you. I really need your growth. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm making you do it. I'm making up to you. I already gave you my word. Hmm? I love you, baby. Thank you. Hmm? Stop being crushed. Hmm? Keep that in your heart. Okay, I'm going to give you a call. Okay. 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 Ok
turn out of your back. Okay. Unleash you. So, um, how is your studies? Why, thank you. It's just that I had a little problem during my assignment. That's because you don't concentrate on your studies. I'm, I'm sure you, you take more time running around, batting around campus. I, I don't know what you're doing. I don't understand you. Concentrate on my studies? Yes. If I should do that, how do you think I'll be here with you? It's as if you don't need me here. Better go. No, no, no. I, I was just joking. Okay, you know me. Eh? Um, see, Chief, I need 40,000 naira. I want to use it for something. 40,000 naira? Yes. But that's too much for a teenager like you. What do you need such amount for? 40,000 naira, too much. It's not too much. Chief, please now. I know you can do it, eh? That's why I'm dating you. Do you want me to start dating all these small boys? I know why I choose you. Please now. Hmm? That's. Thank you very much. I'm sure you must be prank the young man that my daughter told me about. So you are the one that has been making my daughter always excited this past month? <laughs> well, I do my best. <laughs> All right, then sit down and make yourself comfortable. Mm, prank. So what do you do? Well, I'm into importation. I, um, I own Frank Sofa um, Investment Company and we predominantly import electronics and computers. And I hope you're doing well. Well, um, business is a little slow at the moment, but um, I'm sure it will pick up soon. I hope you and my daughter have good plans and you're getting along well. Oh, yes, we are, most definitely. Um, things are in place, it's just them um, to work out the rudiments and everything will be in place. We have great plans. All right, then. How old is this your company? Well, Frank Sof is um, almost one year old. A year old? Yes, sir. Can you handle a contract of 20 million naira? Well, yes, sir. O of course we can. Um, we, my, my, my company has in, um, handled something in that jurisdiction before. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can handle 20 million, no problem. Well, then, uh, you can come back in two weeks' time and come and pick the LPO hmm, from my office. I get straight to business. Oh, thank you very much. You're most kind. You thank, thank you very much, sir. I'm, I'm very grateful. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Uh, well, I'll let you two go and enjoy yourself. Uh, and I don't believe that you'll take good care of my adorable daughter. Oh, well, she's here to speak for herself, sir. She's in the best answer. I love her very much. All right. Tricia? Daddy. Please uh, take Frank in and take good care of him. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, have a nice day. All right, yeah, it's easy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Children? You might as well. I know. My child is here. <laughs> Ok, 
kept you so long? What kind of time? I'm Hi, sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm what took you so long? I was I'm on my sorry, way out. I'm sorry. Sorry, the guy, I had to wait for the guy to give me the samples to the IV. These ones are from Paris, and I think, yeah, these ones are from London. You know what? The one from Paris, um, let it be for the wedding, and this one for the traditional. Okay? okay. So get back to him and tell him to bring that. All right, one. take care. Love. I'm sorry, I'm mm -hmm. Bye, see you. Take care. Love you. Love you too. Wait, just hang on, hang on, okay? Sure, sure. Hey, that, that is my that's that's my land um, my landlord's um, son's um, wife, okay? She's moving, she's troublesome, really troublesome girl. Why don't you do me if you want to move back to oh, No, don't do that. What are you trying to do? No, 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 but that's my land, I'm, I'm the landlord's son's wife, okay? Don't worry about it. I will! You see what I mean? See what I mean? Sorry, stop that! No, 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 She's a troublesome woman, I told you. You know I just moved in here. Are you trying to create problems for me in here? No, 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 no. So, honey, look at me. I know. You know that. I think this one is just step back. This girl is troublesome. Are you trying to break up with me here? I told you this is the drunk. I need to get there on time. No, baby, I'm doing my best. You know, you really look just when you're angry. Stop moving, let's go. Get out of here. Baby, what? Fuck her, yeah, fuck her. Because it's their house, goddamn. Don't you own our own now? Do, do it for me. Do it for me. Do you know you look beautiful in your hands? Do you know that? Now come in here, let me show you what being a woman is all about. Just look. Thank you, sir. Thank you, not for a job for me. No way. Let me take care of this brat. Come on, baby, come on. Um, my landlord's son's wife. I told you. Gosh, she was so arrogant. Arrogant as an outstanding girl. The girl is a witch and she flies in the afternoon too. <laughs> okay, baby, can we go inside now? I have to get my keys. No, no, baby, I was actually on my way out. See, I, I was talking to her to move her car out so I could drive out. See, 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 I don't get it. For the past three months, you've been called towards me. I have to call and make an appointment before I see you. You bought a car and I, I didn't even know about it. You do a lot of things without telling me. Tell me, baby, what, what's, what's all this? There's I really no, don't get it. Look, look, you, you, don't, you don't understand that, okay? There's nothing wrong. Listen, it's a contract I'm executing. I need to get it done with and then, hell, man, it's good time all the way for you. All right, fine, fine, I've heard. Am I seeing you tonight? Well, tonight would have been possible. But the point here is that, you know, I have to definitely be somewhere to have an appointment, girl. I don't know when I'm coming home. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I don't know when I'm coming home. Baby, I've never lied to you. You know that. Why should I start now? Okay? All right. T tomorrow. Tomorrow is your day. Tomorrow, I'm going to spoil you so hard. Believe me. you remember it for the rest of your life. Tomorrow. Okay, fine. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll call you. Alright? Hey, hey, I, I, I'm not seeing that universally no Bye, smiling. bye, I'm not smiling. That's enough. No, I'm not that enough, girl. Come on, it's about the job. Okay, it's for you and me. I, um, I'm, I'm not sure when I'm coming back as I get. 
I know. Okay, I'll make up to you. It's this contract that I'm pursuing in Kotaku. I've almost gotten it. I don't want to miss it. Okay, baby. Amen. Okay. So um, all right, all right. Definitely, I'll pause you. Take care now. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, hey, babe. What's with you? What's the hurry? I'm right behind you now. I can see the car. I can see the phone with you. Look, I've got good news. This one is going to blow your mind. Just sit there and wait for dad. I'm right behind you. Look. Oh, you've dropped already. <laughs> this is hey, you phone you dropped. Okay, no problem. Hey, so look what's at, up? Hey, hey, look. What do I look at? Let's see. You look like Frank. Eh? No, wrong. One more guess. You look like Frank. No, I look like Frank, the millionaire. No, 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 sorry. I refer to the multi-millionaire. Girl, I just got this contract. Thank they just you. paid me right now. Set oh, baby. It's good to be rich. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Wow! Oh, God, I don't go. No, 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 no. This is, this is too good to be true. They gave me this contract. The what? whole money's paid. I went in this month to cash it, babe. I'm a multi million. Welcome Do you know to what the if... club. Oh, God. Come here, come here, come here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me show you what's like dating Frank the millionaire. You've been dating Frank, they have. Right. You want to do it. time to get with me. Enjoy the day. Don't be yourself. Do you know what it feels like walking in a whole million? Something else. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Well, um, let me get some French horror to, to do something. Now. I brought you here to tell you that um, you're the most wonderful woman in the whole world. Thank you. Not to say you're the most beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, you're simply God sent. I love you. I um, better do this before um, courage fails me. I also brought you here to tell you that. Baby, oh my God. here. Oh my God. oh my God. To tell you that um, it's truly awesome, and I want you to do me the honor of being my wife forever. Here you go. Oh, this is beautiful. Come here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, give me a call, baby. <laughs> Thank you. I'm oh, so afraid you might say no. <laughs> no <way. laughs> wow. Can I get up now? Yes, you can, please. Yes, My you knees can. are really hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Here, a Thank toast. You. To us. Yes, to us. And the most beautiful woman in the whole world. And to the most handsome man I've ever met, with my lipstick all over his Oh, but <laughs> lipstick, don't worry, it's a badge of honor. I wear it forever. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Frank, I am not in support of you leaving Sophia and marrying another girl. For God's sake, her father has been very nice to me. He has helped me a lot. Eh? And for God's sake, she is very, very humble and very good to you. And she has assisted you a lot, which you told me. So I don't know why you should leave her for another girl after all that. Look, Dad, I know what I'm doing. I'm a man too. Don't make me look like a child. I just found out of late that um, I love Trisha a lot more than I love Sophia. I don't want my decision to be mitigated by material gains and all that. Besides, come to talk about help. Uh, Trisha has helped me a lot more than so Sophia. Don't forget her father is, is a minister. He just offered me a big contract and he intends to do more. And I know as soon as the man retires, I'm going to take over his conglomerate. It's a big prospect for me and my, my, my company. I mean, and I know what I'm doing for Christ's sake. Listen, I'm, I want to be with the person I love. Listen, uh, Frank, I don't care if you're going to marry the minister's daughter or whatever. But I want you to realize one thing that you are making a very, very grievous mistake by leaving Sophia for another girl. It is very, very ungrateful of you. I don't see anything ungrateful in that. Yes. 
my son's happiness is what counts and it is important. Will you shut up your mouth and stop interfering in our discussion? What do you know? You have been blindfolded with expensive gifts and money. And you feel you can just open your filthy mouth and start talking? Listen, let me tell you, I don't want any shame in this family. And I have a reputation and a friendship to keep. You understand that? Because you want to keep your friendship. You want your son to enter into an unhappy matrimony. Eh? All right. Look, why don't you allow this young man to stick to his choice? M -m mom is right. Eh? That mom is right. Uh -uh. I've made my decision. I'm, I'm not a babe now. I'm, I'm the one that, that dated both women. And I, I know who is best for me now. Will you let me choose a wife too? I wonder. She, she's good for me. She's perfect for me. And, and, and she's, she's rich enough for me and to, to take care of my dreams and everything. That's all I want. Let me ask you one question. Is Sophia aware of this your decision? No, but I intend to tell her as soon as possible. Frank, I'm not happy with this. I suppose you rethink of this, your decision. I'm not doing anything. Don't you think you're making a very dangerous mistake? I'm taking the right decision. I only came here to tell people of our wedding plans. Hey! <laughs> Stays here, of course. I'll practically stay here now, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know any Frank. Frank? Well, what are you talking about here? I was here last weekend. Frank, be here. That's what I'm saying. What's going on here? This is our new furniture. Where, where's Frank? Look, if he's the guy that stays here, I think I overheard him saying something about traveling abroad. Abroad? Abroad? Huh? When? You said you love me 